Welcome to the Battlefield Show. I'm your host, Sage Goodwin, and as always, I'm joined by Sammy Boy. How you doing, man? I'm doing well, man. How are you? Doing fantastic. Today, we are talking about Battlefield 2042 Season 7. Oh, my goodness. Let's jump in. So, Sammy, there's not anything going on right now, right? Nah, it's a pretty um, pretty dead time of year this year. It's Yeah, not much. <laughs> happening today specifically but um yeah they yeah as we're recording this is <laughs> december 7th it's not like uh one of the biggest announcements ever in the history of gaming in terms of this uh i don't know like this generation really uh of gta 6 happened and it's not like the game awards are going on or anything like that <laughs> Um, so I think it's a perfect time for Dice to randomly drop a close to cringy video <laughs> yeah. was, of someone yeah. dressed as Santa Claus <laughs> with a bunch of sevens around them and mm. then announce season seven of Battlefield 2042. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Firstly, I just want to say that's aw- it's awesome. Like, I'm glad we've got it. It's going to sound negative with the following bit but what the hell just a little stressed (laughs) and overworked yeah we could have chosen a better time to do this in between literally the biggest announcement of any media in the history like yesterday when we were prepared to record a podcast yeah (laughs) they've dropped it in between gta and then the game awards like what the nobody's gonna see that yeah even the player base of battlefield probably will be like oh what season seven got announced like three months ago what are you talking about i didn't see that so (laughs) yeah it's it's an odd time frame to announce it i get that it's the seventh and they they've had a little sort of pun they just want to be seven sevens and all the sevens and whatever i get any other time i'd be like yep that's uh, that's not bad i don't mind having a little fun with it but like it's the, it's the Game Awards, man. It's the biggest day of the year in the gaming calendar, paired with yeah. It's, it's honestly that's week. what it's become. Yeah. Like Game Awards and the Summer Game Fest. Like Jeff Keighley has become the uh, E3 man. Yeah, he literally he is just the the human E3 at this point. <laughs> and yeah, there's gonna be like I don't even know. There'd be twenty. I don't know whether I'd say 20 games announced today, but like 20 big things that will happen today, I'd say. 15 mm-hmm. to 20 huge announcements, trailers. Yeah, because it's not just and stuff like games that. being awarded. Yeah. It's announcements and all of the big stuff yeah. in the game industry. They, they People use this as a time to, yeah. to give updates or announce new games. Yeah, so that's what I'm concerned about is that They've announced this, and again, it's a it's a good thing. I'm keen for it. I'm keen to see what they come up with. But it's like <laughs> no one's going to see it because we're all going to be seeing, you know, I'm sure there'll be stuff there about like Fortnite because they've just released all their big stuff. So there's going to be Fortnite flexing all their stuff on the biggest stage in the gaming industry right now. No one's going to be paying attention to Battlefield, and it's just like they should have either done it a bit earlier or, yeah, waited the season will be like three months away. So it's like yeah, potentially even just wait. Even though I know we've both said just as soon as last week, we were like, I just want to hear about it now. But it's like, uh-huh. that's like not whoa, whoa, cost. whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the, well, let, let's let's step back a little bit though, because the, the main thing was, hey, we're going to have some holiday season. We're having holiday themed events and stuff going on as well. And then they're also like, oh, so we're doing season seven. <laughs> it's like, look, holidays. Oh, also season seven. <laughs> yeah, it was. A, that was the other part that I was like confused about. Is that it was? It, I couldn't tell what was their main goal there. Was it like, yeah, meant to be a teaser? It seemed to me like they were just announcing season seven, and then they chucked in like, there's some stuff uh-huh. going on, and I'm like. Isn't that more pressing? Because it's like that will be happening like next week or the week after. So, yeah, yeah. It was a, it was a very just. I don't want to sound too it's, negative. It's it all it's all good so information. Weird. Just a weird, yeah, just an odd way and time to do it is my concern with it. Because yeah, now I now I'm going to be like 
by the end of today, I'll, I will have forgotten they said that because there's so much other stuff coming today. Uh-huh. It's, as we're recording, it is literally an hour until this show starts. So, yep. like, <laughs> I'm going to buy a... 2.30 my time, which is four hours from now, when the show ends, I will have forgotten that they said that as early as yep. today. Like, it's not like they said it last week. They said it today and I will have forgotten. So, odd timing. But, yeah, like I said, it's still a good thing. And um, I'm glad that they've actually committed to that because, like we said last week, it's a bit weird that they've been – they're clearly – they would have had to know they're working on new content and all that kind of thing, but they've obviously – Committed to it now, and that's yeah, that's what we wanted to see. It's so random, honestly. Um, I think I don't know, like, I'm excited for it. Uh, like you said, by the time after this podcast is done recording, I'm gonna go make dinner and we're gonna go watch the Nutcracker Ballet, and then I'm gonna come home and get caught up on all of the game award stuff, and then I'm not gonna remember what the heck I, uh, time goes by so quickly yeah. now, and also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh my goodness, what's going on? It is literally but just I like am excited. sensory overload today, man. It's just too much <laughs> happening all at once. Yes. I can't, my brain, my little tiny brain just can't hack it on days like this. Uh-huh. I'm just like, <laughs> please, would everyone just slow down a bit and give me some time to process what I'm... Hold your horses yeah. real quick here, guys. <laughs> yeah, Calm goodness. down for just one second here. <laughs> uh, but honestly, though, like... How are you feeling about season seven? Yeah, I'm a little bit, I don't want to say shocked. I didn't think it was, I don't know, I was probably about 50-50 on it, so I I shouldn't say I'm shocked because it's like it was going to go one way or the other, but I kind of was starting to not expect it because they had delayed it for so long because obviously all the other seasons we knew the following season would be happening sort of before the current season would happen or even right as it launched. They'd kind of launched like, season five and they were they were kind of saying also season six is happening so it was like we kind of knew what was going on whereas with this season we got season six and we just haven't it's been like what six weeks roughly five weeks since the update yeah i think so So like that's five weeks roughly of us just not knowing and i guess as time went on i was starting to think like oh okay maybe they're not going to do it because they surely they would have announced it by now but yeah they've obviously come out and said it um I'm very interested to see – I can't tell if this is going to be like, you know, next year's a new year and they're going to really send it on this game or if this is kind of just like a, a – just another season, if that makes sense. I don't know if this is going to be like the kickstart of a really good year next year because I feel like this year was really solid but it's also also like it slowed down a fair bit towards the end of the year and mm-hmm. it doesn't – it hasn't still felt like – all right, we're going to kick on this year. This is our year to like take back Battlefield to the to the glory days kind of thing. It, it wasn't an announcement that was like, yes, yeah. Battlefield is back and ready to jump in the squad. And blah. It was a, yeah. hey, guys, happy Christmas. I'm a Canadian with a big red beard and a Santa Claus <laughs> outfit. And we are going to have some holiday things for you. And also season seven. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was just... um. I guess that's a good. That's actually a good way to describe it. That it wasn't necessarily a convincing announcement. In that, like, it it didn't give me like, oh man, like this is big. It was kind of like, oh okay, they're doing season seven. So uh, uh, that could just be me. I'm not really sure. But there's been other. Se- For example, I think it was when they announced they will be doing season five. That's when I was like, oh, they're actually doing it. Like they're actually mm-hmm. getting more than they said that they were gonna do. So. This wasn't on that level. I'm, I don't have as much excitement towards it for that reason because it's like, is this, yeah, are we, are we kicking on and going to another gear next year or is this just kind of like, no, nothing's really going to change. It's just another season with some more content kind of thing. Yeah. I'm not too sure what to, to make of it, but it's obviously so far away that it's like, it's it's impossible for anyone to judge that. It's kind of just going to have to, I guess, come down to when it's closer to it to see what they have to offer. And then from there, we can probably get a better idea of whether it's, you know, whether we are we going to get content all next year or is it just like, I kind of have it in my head that maybe season seven and eight will happen. And then like, I can't, I can't see season nine happening personally, but then 
who knows? Who knows what this season's going to be? Uh huh. I uh, didn't expect season yeah. <laughs> season seven to happen. <laughs> yeah, honestly, <me> <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of what I mean. I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of just. I feels like I'm just waiting for the announcement that they're done with it. That's kind of the the mindset that I'm in of like, oh, like this is good. We're getting more content, but like, I guess when are they going to announce that they're ending it? Because then that's kind of announcing that they're not far away from announcing the next game. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's a weird. It's a weird spot for me, and it's also, I'm not going to lie, they've got their work cut out for them because previous seasons, the shooter genre has been pretty like flat, man, for the last about, I don't know, yeah. two years or so. So they've actually, I remember saying not that long ago, maybe during season five, that I thought Battlefield 2042 was the best current, like, I don't know, arcade shooter, if you would really, I don't, I don't think you'd really call it that, but that genre of game, Call of Duty, Halo, those sorts of games, not yeah. including your Fortnites and your, your Valorants and that stuff. But They're almost in their own like category yeah. now anyway, too. Yeah. So back then, I think it was really good releasing new seasons, whereas now, if this is launching in Feb, potentially X Defiant is launching the same month because we just got an update on that that's pretty much saying it'll be roughly very early next year. The finals is meant to be launching this month and currently Warzone has just launched yesterday. So they're actually now up against a bit of competition because Warzone seems to be, a lot of people are very happy with Warzone because they've kind of changed a lot of the issues with it. The finals and next to fight being free to play, um, they're going to garner a lot of attention. And if they can just, they need to land the launches obviously, but if they do, Man, that's I think a lot of people from Battlefield will go to the finals because it's free. Why wouldn't you? It's made by ex developers. Mm-hmm. People are going to give it a try, and if it's if it lands well, then yeah, you've got you got your work cut out for you, dice. So it's going to be interesting to see. I, I do feel as though season seven won't have the hype that maybe the other ones have had, unless maybe those games fall off already. You know, by Feb, if the finals is just it doesn't launch well or something and Warzone's dying off, then, yeah, maybe it'll do well. But they, it's going to be a lot for them to drag players back. Mm-hmm. I'll, I know I'll come back and play Season 7 because I'm a big Battlefield fan, but I I can't imagine myself sticking around. I think I'll play it for a while and probably be back on Next Defiant and the finals and stuff like that because they're just they're new and exciting and they're also free. So, yeah, yeah they've got a tough, tough little time frame it's- there. It's hard to beat free. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think if you can make a game that's even... Anyone who makes a game that's even like 85% as good as 2042 and it's free, that's that's to me a better game because it's free. I haven't paid money for it. So it's like I can, exp- I can I mean, allow it to be a little bit less of a higher quality if it's free. Um, and yeah. as long as it's fun, you're going yeah, to hook people in there when it's a free game. We have a very recent example of this being the case, which is GTA 6 and its trailer. The reason that it didn't launch on the day it was supposed to was because a copy of it, a crappy copy of it, was put up beforehand. And everybody was watching that one rather than waiting for the ultimate one. And I think that's the clearest example of this. Mm, Yeah, exactly. People will just flock to the the thing that's like you know here now and especially when it's free something like that is a good example where yeah it's free you don't have to pay for it so it's like people aren't gonna if people had paid for i don't know why they would but if they had to pay to watch the gta trailer and then a leaked Uh one came out and you also had to pay for the leaked one everyone would just be like oh i'll just wait the day i've paid for it i'm gonna watch the high quality version but because they're both free, people just jump on the free one. They just want like they want content now. That's what everyone wants. We all want things right now. And so yeah, when you got these shooters coming out that are not far away and they're also free, it's yeah you, they've they've got a bit of competition now, which I have not been saying for uh-huh. a long time. I feel like I've just been constantly saying, man, this this game's better than all the others because COD wasn't doing well, Halo wasn't doing well. There was not there was nothing else. X Define and stuff weren't on the radar at that point. So it's kind of just out of nowhere heated up a lot. <laughs> and they've got their work cut out for sure. Yeah. I mean that's the thing with uh shooters nowadays is like there is there's so many options now 
that it doesn't necessarily make sense for you not to take your game seriously, I should say. Like, it, it's time for whoever, no matter what you are, you can't just automatically release something unless you're Call of Duty and people will buy it. Yeah. Like you need to you need to support your game. You need to have a clear runway. I think it doesn't make sense for them to have the free weekend during a time where they have the longest season of the history of Battlefield yeah. and not capitalize on the rise and continuation of that peak. And I feel like they really missed the ball on that one. Yeah, it seems a thing with Dice that they have very odd timing on that kind of thing where they don't... It's like they're not fully aware of when to do certain things. It's weird to watch. Uh, a lot of... Even just today, the trailer... Well, not the trailer, but the announcement. It's like, okay, that's a good thing to do, but, like, really, have you chosen that today? And, like, same with the free weekend. It's like they're, they're not very... I feel like they're not that good at capitalizing on when things are going well. They kind of let mm-hmm. things go really well and they just sit there and go like, oh, this is cool. Everyone's happy. And then they don't like, they got to pounce on that. They got to, that's when you- They almost are like, oh my gosh, people like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they got a bit like stunned and they just didn't know what to do or something. I don't know. It's just, they've always been a bit odd like that. And I guess it used to maybe not matter as much because it was, it was all doing really well and they just, it was kind of seen more like they're just doing their own thing. Kind of how like Rockstar- not to compare Dice to Rockstar, they're not even in the same stratosphere, but Rockstar just does their own thing. They don't care. They didn't show up at the Game Awards. They they released uh-huh. their trailer a couple of days before because that's their day. They don't care about the rest of the games. Yeah. It's kind of like that. But they're big Dice. enough to do that. <laughs> exactly. It's the biggest like dev company in the world compared to, not to say Dice is small, but there's no one in the, there's no one that competes with Rockstar yet. There's companies under EA that compete with dice like under the same parent company there are competitors uh-huh. let alone your yeah, activision companies like treyarch and all that like yeah it's i think they think they're the main character when they're not, they're just, they're not. <laughs> you know that's probably the best way to look at this is that <laughs> dice thinks that they're the main character yeah, legit. we we all know those people that think that they're the main character when yep. they're not <laughs> Um, and that's dice. I feel like that is the best way to categorize that. <laughs> yeah, they, I don't know, man. They just they do a lot of stuff that I'm like. Sometimes even with other companies, they'll do weird things, and I'm like, okay, I don't think that landed, but I can kind of see what you were going for. But with dice, they do a lot of stuff where I'm like, not only did that not land, but what the hell were you thinking? Like, uh-huh. <laughs> I can't even see remotely what you were going for. Like today's announcement, or like the the free weekend, and yeah, uh, yeah, they're just very odd in their social awareness. I think I do think they're really still like stuck in there. We've talked about this how they, as a dev team, are very, or well, maybe not so much right now, but say like three to five years ago, they're very stuck in their ways of like, yeah, still making games like it was two thousand and five. Like they still just do things yes. the same way, and I feel like they're their social team is kind of in the same way where they just think like they're marketing in 2010. That's like, mm-hmm. man, so i tell you what, game dev moves quickly, but social media moves even quicker. You've yes. got to be on top of everything. You can't be posting meme Christmas videos on the Game Awards day and expecting <laughs> that to go you know really really but well, but so. sammy they made all of those cookies with s- s- the number seven <laughs> on them what else were they gonna do oh my goodness <laughs> it's just very confusing sometimes but it's also it's pretty fun to watch it is pretty fun to see like to just have these moments where i'm like what are you it's like watching funniest home videos and you just someone does something stupid and you're like what the hell were they thinking like it's kind of the same same thought process for me i just watch their <laughs> their interactions with the gaming scene. And I'm like, what the hell are you guys up to? Uh (laughs) It's so true though. Like I I feel like they, they've got heart, but they don't have, um, they don't have like the, the strategy, like Mm. with battlefield four, they were really, 
they were guiding the industry forward. Never had we seen the level of like destruction and mm. kind of impact that that can have on a multiplayer shooter than we saw in Battlefield 4. And then nobody else took that up. And DICE kind of dropped it off. And if you look at how DICE handled 2042 at launch, if they handled it even, like, I'd, I'd say, Battlefront 2 and Battlefield 5, is they handled these games like they would have been, like you said, 10 years ago. Like, mm. they're still trying to work with a playbook that doesn't fit the game. It's like it's like trying to use hockey rules for basketball. <laughs> yeah. Legitimately, yeah. It's, I don't know, man. It's It's weird because I also feel like... I thought those like structural changes they'd made would have kicked in by now. And I'm now a little bit nervous and maybe they have. To be fair, those people aren't in place to like be social managers and stuff like that. But it's I don't know, you would think like Vince and those guys would have had an impact on that kind of thing already. Cause obviously Vince knows how to market his games. They dropped a game with zero trailer, just said, Hey, this game exists currently, you can go get it. <laughs> and it's now the one of the biggest battle royales ever so Mm -hmm. he knows what he's doing it's a little bit concerning that they haven't implemented that stuff but also maybe they just aren't trying to for this game because it's as much as it's turned around really well it is still i guess i would say to them it has still been seen as a letdown and they're they're probably still in that mindset of we got to like take all this and use it for the next game i don't think this is currently their like number one focus or anything so Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's part of it. I know for myself when it's like, I don't know, when I'm making content and it's like filler content, because I'll be honest, I feel like that's what 2042 is currently. It's just a filler game until the next one at this point. I know when I'm making like a filler video, I don't care as much about it. I don't put as much thought into the thumbnail, which is technically the marketing. I don't, I'm just kind of like, yeah, that'll do. Like I'm just trying to get through. And when, when, you know, a big game comes out, that's when I send it and that's when I go really hard. But when it's just like filler content, I'm like, eh, it doesn't really matter. So maybe they're in that same mindset. Obviously, that's a wild comparison to compare a random YouTube channel to a billion-dollar company. But, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I feel like they are maybe in that mindset of, like, yeah, they're just having a bit of fun. They're just continuing to support this game and get it to where they want to leave it and then, like, yeah, take that information for the next game and that's when they really go hard on it. But... Yeah, you'd also think maybe that's not the case because, like, they are a big enough company that you kind of can't do that. If they're going to be in that mindset, you'd think they would have just cancelled it and moved on to the next one. So, I don't know. It's very, it's just all very confusing advice. I think that real struggle is that uh, we don't know. I, I think it's fine that we don't know, but I feel like it's hard to really commit to a game and continue to, like, support it when we're like, oh my gosh, there's actually going to be a another season interesting yeah. okay and we're like i th- i honestly th- almost thought that they were just gonna be like no okay now we're gonna do all of our focus on the next game i think that would have been a good decision but also i i i like that they're using battlefield 2042 to continue and test and see what's going on but at the same time, I, I do wonder if that's going to... It's going to be great if they take those implementations and they put it to the next game. But knowing DICE, that's not always going to happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's very... I'm curious... I say I'm curious to know is if we're going to find out. We'll never find out. But I, I want to know like how much... If they took this current team that's working on 2042 and just cancelled the game and just put that team on the next one, how much they would gain from that or Mm -hmm. whether it actually wouldn't add that much because obviously you can't... If you have a team of 400 people working on a game compared to like a million people, it's not going to probably achieve that much more, if that makes sense. There's only so much you can do in a certain amount of time. It doesn't matter if you've got every person in the world working on the game that it's not going to make there's only so much you can do so i don't know if like taking this team and putting them on the next game and just canceling this game if that would actually help or not but if it would i would personally prefer them to do that even though i like 2042 i I want the focus to just be the next game i think 
I think even the people who are loving 2042 and want more updates probably would still agree with that. That like the next game is probably more important than this one because mm-hmm. they got they got some. I don't know they got a big job to do there. That this game really does. I think if I think if the next Battlefield doesn't launch well, that is going to be. I'm never going to say like the franchise will die or anything, but I think yeah, that because we the said point. that before yeah. 2042 came out. Yeah, I just think that. <laughs> With each one, it just really does knock it down a level to where I think I do still think I myself any. I'm not going to say for everyone else, but for myself, I still count Battlefield in that top echelon of shooters. Yet, if the next one launches poorly, I don't think I can say that. I think I have to say like Call of Duty and Halo and that are the better franchises and now Battlefield's down with the finals and X Defiant, which are free games and their new franchises. It's in that rung below, which I I don't think they want that. <laughs> I don't think I don't think any of us want that. It's always been seen as like the competitor to Call of Duty. And now I I genuinely think a bad launch means it's no one will even be saying that anymore. Not that they ever have been in actual competition, but I think I think that'll be the point where people are, are like laughing at anyone who says that it's a comparison. You know what I mean? So it's a big launch. The next one is by far bigger than twenty forty two because I think really that only had Battlefield Five be a failure at that point. I know Battlefield mm-hmm. One tailed off a little bit, but like that launch was really good and the game overall was really good. And I know that Battlefront had its issues too, but that is a different franchise, even though it's the same team. So really, for me, it was like yeah. really good Battlefields in a row. Then Battlefield Five wasn't that good, so they only had one bad game in a row, I guess. But now they've kind of had two, even though, like I said, I actually I, and Battlefield Five, I like both of them, but I would consider them bad Battlefield games. I I think three in a row is like that's when people will be like, oh, that kind uh-huh. of fell off. Like that that game is just. <laughs> It's not was anymore. it three's a trend? I think yeah. one's an anomaly, yep. two is a pattern, three's a trend, or something yeah. like that. And that that's kind of what I'm getting at. Where it's yeah, I think a third in a row is kind of like the nail in the coffin of okay, Battlefield just is not what it used to be. I think we're all still hanging on to the hope that Battlefield can come back, but I think if they get three in a row wrong, that doesn't mean the game's going to die. That doesn't mean they're going to cancel the franchise. I just think that it will never be it will just never get back to where it was. Whereas I, I still do think if they launch this next one really well, it can get back to that, even though it'll be very tough still. But mm-hmm. yeah, I just that's kind of I just want them to focus on the next one and that's why I'm confused a bit about the Season 7 announcement. Um, that being said, maybe the next game doesn't come out until 2025 and therefore, yeah, yeah go for your then life. they have all of 2024 to do more research and develop yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So if that's the case, then yeah, that, then I'm fine with it. But if if we get like season seven and eight and then next year is also the launch of Battlefield 6, then I'm a bit like, hang on, I, I would gladly sacrifice six months of 2042 to get a slightly better Battlefield 6. Like that's yeah an easy question for me. It's not even a question. I would delete this game in a heartbeat if it meant the next game was definitely going to be better. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> Do it now. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. It's all very... It's just a very... I feel like I say that every bloody episode at this point. It's just a very interesting time over at DICE. It's, it's uh-huh. all just very unique the way they do their things. And, Always exciting. Yeah. <laughs> it keeps us on our toes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm honestly... I'm excited for Season 7. Mostly yeah. I'm interested to see what it's going to be and what it ends up like looking like and... Is it going to just be more of the same or if it's going to be something new? Because I think we need something new at this mm. point. But we'll see. Uh, but with that, let us know your thoughts. Are you excited about Season 7? What Do you have any thoughts on what it could be? Let us know in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube or contact UplinkPodcast.com. If you want to reach out through email, check out Sammy Boy's channel. He's uh, covering all the stuff around the Game Awards as uh, all as well as all kinds of fun stuff over there. So check out his channels now. And uh, as always, we'd like to thank Ethan Clark for the beautiful thumbnail. All of you for listening. We'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs>